There are many ways to migrate your operating system to Windows PC. Honestly, it can be a little bit complicated, so we decided to create a guide to help you out on your way. The first thing we have to do is actually get the application. All we have to do is to do a quick Google search. One of the most popular tools is called the Mini Tool Partition. In your search bar, simply type in Mini Partition Tool. Once you've done that, just find the link, click on it to proceed. From here, just click on the Download tab. You're going to search for the free edition. Once you find it, click the Download button. Now, just follow your normal installation protocols. Select your language, accept the license agreements, accept the destination location, and so on. Now, you may be prompted to download an anti-bias software. If you don't want it, make sure you unclick the checkbox. And once you're done, press Next to continue. Now, you just click on Install. The application wizard is going to start up automatically once the installation is complete. Okay, so let's zoom in here. You're going to click on the Migrate OS tab. You're going to be asked, how would you like to migrate your OS? For this, we're going to select option A. To replace my disk with another hard disk, click Next to continue. After this, we're going to select a disk destination. This is going to be the hard drive you want to migrate your OS to. Afterwards, a warning prompt is going to appear stating that all the data on this is going to be destroyed. That's completely fine. Go on and proceed. Now we get to review our changes. If everything's in order, we're just going to proceed forward. Simply click Next. In the top left corner, you're going to click the checkbox that says Apply. A notice prompt will appear to restart your PC. Click Restart Now. Once your PC restarts, you'll be entered into the BIOS screen. From here, we're going to tab over to the Boot tab and go down to Boot option number one. And now we get to select our disk drive. For us, it's called Patriot Burst. For you, it may be something else. To select it, press Enter. Now we can go to the Save and Exit tab. Once we're there, we're going to move all the way down to Save Changes and Reset. You've already completed the task. The next thing we're going to do is check the results. Go to your File Explorer. Click on This PC. Right-click on your local disk drive, which is also known as your C drive. Then go all the way down to Properties. As you can see, the space is available and a migration was successful. That's pretty much it. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our YouTube channel and learn more at azultech.com.